Hi, so this video I'm going to walk you through installing, like downloading and installing the Steelcase Materials Library. Most of you are using Steelcase Materials, um, and this can also be applied to other companies where there's um, a separate material library. This is really complicated, and I apologize ahead of time. I will try to go as slow as I can. I will also make um, a Moodle file with screenshots so you can either watch along in the video and or have it printed out and work your way through it. Um, the intention was to do this all together after spring break because I know it's it's quirky and it's you're going to have different information depending on where you're downloading it to. And now most of you are downloading it to laptops. It might be slightly different. Um, and again, don't hesitate to contact me and ask me for help because this is one of the more complicated and frustrating things about Revit. So apologize ahead of time. Um, I'm going to break this into smaller videos so it's not so overwhelming. All right, so we're first going to go to Google. Um, I'm going to have to jump around on my screen a lot just so you can, oops, there's my email, sorry. Oh, God, we love Zooming, don't we? All right, so here is um, our Moodle for our Tech 2 class. The links for this are under both materials and Revit. I'm going to use uh, this, which, this link here. Ignore the how-to file because as I found out over the last couple of days trying to put this together for you, it's missing some steps it, and it's frustrating. So we're just I'll probably delete that later on. Project three, it's also um, here too. This is the same link. So we're just gonna open that up. Um, this is, like I said, how you'll get to it on your own. Here's the link taking you right to Steelcase's website. Um, I've already got that open here. This is what's gonna open up when you click that link. Um, this is normally where a lot of you find um, your, you know, furniture families and things like that. Down at the bottom is where the Revit material library is. Now, when you go to click on this, you want to, let's see, here it goes. As it downloads, say show in folder, because you yourself need to follow where it's going to go. Um, right now, you're not seeing that on my screen, so I'm going to stop share for a second, and I'm going to bring up um, my own downloads. You're gonna see so much crap in my folders. Um, yeah, here's my, my financial statements. Um, so I've already done this a couple of times. You can see one and two. I'm gonna do it with one that's already uh, completely downloaded. This is the one that's coming down now. It's downloading 2000 image files. So it might take a couple minutes. So pause the video, wait for it to catch up with me. Um, right now, you're gonna right click on it once it's you've got this zipped folder. We'll say Rev, Steelcase Revit Material Library. So you can see it there again. Oh, yeah, you don't want to rename it. Right click. You all are working in Windows environment, so you should have this option of extract all. That's the third one there. Here's where things get a little dicey. So let me stop sharing again. And I've got to now bring it over to that screen, which is, let's see, right here. Right here. Great. Okay. Um, don't just hit browse. We, I mean, don't just hit extract. We need to put it in a very specific folder. This is what took us forever. And thank God for my husband who helped me with this because 30 years in IT and even he was frustrated. All right, so where we're going to go. And I, I literally have a sheet listing this out that I will print for you, but I will kind of call it out as we go. Everybody should work the same. You are going to have computer. You're going to have your local disk most everybody that should be your C drive. I have a lot more drives. This is all my backups and things like that. Um, so you're going to have C and then you're going to go to program files with that x86 there and then underneath that is common files and then underneath that is Autodesk shared. Underneath that is now materials. That's where this folder has to go in order to work with Revit um, materials. So we're going to say OK. We're going to say extract. Um, the, I'm getting this because I've done this before. So I'm just going to say no because I've already done this. So, all right. So we're going to go back to screen sharing over to Revit now over here. OK. In your case, it's going to take a couple minutes because it's you're going to see downloading 2000 files. Hooray. That means it's working. That's good. Um, I've already kind of got this stuff installed, so I'm going to just show you sort of where and how to do that. You're going to go to Manage, then you're going to go to Materials, so double click that. All right, um, what you're going to do is go down to this little tan 
Um, it looks like probably it meant to be a manila folder, but this is where Revit is not great on the, the visual icons. You're going to open an existing library. In the future, you can create your own. This is how you organize things. If you have a bunch of images on your hard drive, you can tell it to go there. In our case, we're going to get one that already exists. So this is the file location where you just put everything successfully. So it's computer. So if, for some reason, it doesn't come go to where you need it to go. It's, I'll read this again. Computer, local disk C, program files x86, common files, Autodesk shared, materials. Now you want textures and steel case materials. All right, within here, this 240 by 240 will become important later on. That's where all the image files are. Let me show you quick. Um, it says it's empty. It's not, I'm just, I've downloaded this so many times I'm losing my mind. Um, so you're going to open that and that's going to be your new library. I'm not going to do that because it's going to crash my machine because I've already done it a couple times. In my case, to confirm that it's there, you go over to here, this little house on the left, and you're going to see here's the Autodesk one, here's some more AEC ones. These, these come with the libraries with Autodesk when you install it. Here's the one we just added. It's going to take a couple minutes to open it up. So I'm going to pause this video now just so we don't have to wait for it. Let's go back to there. All right, we're pausing. Okay, welcome back. Mine is all installed now. I'm done pausing. Uh, and just I'll warn you, this can get a little glitchy. So don't freak out or be surprised if things crash when this happens because, again, you're asking it to load 2,000 files. Now, you may already know what things you're missing. Um, watch both of my videos. It'll make sense. In the second one, I think I gloss over this way too quick, so I went back to add this. So, for example, the, here's all of them. Um, let's see. Some of the ones are the fabric ones are the best. So, let's see. So, see where you can kind of see it's a little table. And it's kind of like draping over the table. That means it's fabric. So, I'm going to use my up arrow to add it up here. Now, some of them are already here because I've been mucking around with this forever, or they came in, they tried to come in when you brought in the folder. What a lovely name that is. All right, so we're going to click on this guy. The problem that's happening, and again, we'll, the other video goes into this in more detail, is so far it looks like it's probably going to render okay, but if you double click on this name, this file. If, if, if we were to go to render it, oh, here, let me show this again. You and me are like, cool, it's purple. Yeah, it should work. Well, it doesn't even look purple. It looks more blue. Um, but when we go to look at it in our rendering over here, it's still gray. What the problem is, is that this image file down here really is in this folder. So you have to double click this 240 by 240. Don't change the name here. Click open. Click apply. Now, when we go to paint that color in, that's going to be there and it's going to work. Um, in the second video, so when I first did this, I thought, oh my God, do I have to up arrow every single one of these? You don't. A lot of these are already sitting here waiting for you to kind of clean them up if they're in your model already. So um, I'm trying to find some that like, so this guy here, see how the dune, see how we can, we can see it's brown. But it's warning me it's not going to render brown because I got to click on that, that picture. Um, in this case, it didn't even find the steel case folder. I have to click on the steel case folder, then the image file folder, and then I pick open. Now it's going to read it as brown. So now that color is going to work correctly in my model. I'm going to click apply for that. The second video is going to go into more detail about you have to kind of do some sleuthing, some detective work to find out what's going on with these fabrics and which ones are missing. The big takeaway I want to make sure, and I, I, I explained it in the second video too, is um, you're not going to go through and color every single furniture. Don't lose your mind doing that. You're only going to color in the rooms that you're rendering. And that's, that's going to be the case all the way to senior year. You, you never need to go back and color every single thing. Use your time wisely. Only color in the pieces that we're going to see in full color in your rendering. All right, so um, you need to queue up the second video. That's going to kind of 
show you a couple examples of in your own model where you're going to need to kind of hunt and peck and do, like I said, do some detective work to figure out where that fabric is. Sometimes me cracking my knuckles. Um, but please reach out to me, uh, send me an email. Um, I can easily jump on, we can sh uh, share screens because this is a part where it becomes, like I said, a bit of detective work to link all these things back together. Um, like I said, it's not your fault if it's confusing. This uh, is a combination of things where when they upgraded from 2018, uh, I think a lot of steel case models are pre-2018. So uh, when you would pull it into your model, the material information didn't come with it. And this is what you have to do to kind of relink that. All right, so good luck with this. And um, let, like I said, let me know if you need help. It is a little tricky. I'm also going to do screenshots and um, type out what that whole file listing is of where you need to put it, because that's really critical for Revit being able to find those materials in a library. All right, so good luck. <laughs>